Hi everyone, it's Sally here, and I was just, I'm sort of, sort of in the middle of working on this, um, this big journal over here that's on my desk. I'm, I just kind of was taking a little break, watching some videos. I was watching a video by my friend Dee at the paper drawer, and she, oh dear, I lost my notes here, okay. She was doing a flip of a journal that she got from Donna at Past and Pages. And I was so inspired by Donna's work that I didn't even finish watching Dee's video until this morning. And I went right over and saw that Donna had this tutorial, uh, four parts, on how she made a little mini journal kind of like this one. And I was just, I loved her style. I love her style. I loved the grunginess of it. And uh, it was fun to watch because she does a great job with her videos. It's very relaxed, very laid back. And it's like, you know, she says, you know, you can do it like this. Or if you don't like that, just leave it off or whatever. So um, anyway, I immediately had to make one. So I took an old file folder. Uh, I have some of those brown ones. And I tore it in half, followed it, her instructions, and then I folded it over so it would have pockets like hers. And she showed how she did the layers here with the, some like craft paper here. She had fabric here and here. Hers was different. She had a piece of material and a button here, and I had this uh, old shell button. And then she said she used a picture from a book, so I found this one. And then in this pocket here, um, she had a tag, and she actually had on the one she was making a picture taken from one of those, um, you know, Sears catalog reproductions. So that's what that is. And she just it described how she did her grunging. And so she uses a vintage photo, and then she takes black soot and just kind of rubs it along the edges, then takes a baby wipe and kind of blends it. And then she was putting on some kind of white chalk paint, which I don't have, but I do have white gesso. And so uh, I, she put a little bit of that white different places. I actually got out a toothbrush and did some splattering because I love how, I love splattering and I haven't done any in ages. So here's the little tag. And uh, everything, all the edges are torn. I didn't use paper cutter. And so on the inside, she had put uh, some an, another piece of brown paper, like packing paper. And then she'd put a stamp on it, but I decided I didn't want it. I didn't have a stamp like hers, and I didn't really want to do that. So I, I just grunged it and then put some more splatters on there. And then she just used a lot of odd bits of coffee-dyed paper for the pages. And then she had in the back a little notepad. So I had this one that I had made previously, so I just glued it down with just, you know, little layers of pages here. And then there's also this pocket in the back. So in here, I have another uh, little bit of extra writing space. And then on the back cover, she had put a book page. And so I found an old book page and put that there. Um, just was, uh, I had so much fun making this and I need to finish that other journal, but I will get to it eventually. So I had this old, um, kind of almanac thing from 1920. So I, I used the cover of that. I had some uh, eco-dyed paper that had torn. So I put some faux cellophane tape there, which was given gifted to me by Pam from uh, Tattered Paper and Lace. Thank you, Pam. So that's one of my pages. And I went through and did some pages. I did a little random splattering and some I didn't. That's just plain tea stayed. This is from a tea stain paper there. This is from actually the little reporter's notebook that I found in a thrift store. And this is some tea stain book pages. Another of what my failed eco dyeing pages that didn't really turn out all that great. Some parchment paper with tea stain on it. 
notepad, and then she had a glassine envelope in the middle of hers, and I actually had these little ones that I had tea stained along a while back, so, and here is an altered uh, Rolodex card. And I did the binding with twine, and this is just an image from a book. But it was from the right era, which was uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. So I put that in. Uh, so fun to put this together. I can't wait to do some more. And I'm going to be looking at more of Donna's videos. Because I feel so inspired to try this grungy style. And I just wanted to share what I had made. And I'm going to put a link to uh, Dee's post, which is the original one I was watching and at the paper drawer, and also Donna from Past and Pages, which thank you, Donna, for your inspiration. And I hope to be watching more of your videos very soon.